Tuatha woman is in the home stretch of earning her college degree. She's managed to keep a GPA above 3.0 while raising her five children. She told Eyewitness News anchor Erica Bryant she's gotten a lot of support from others and she wants to use what she's learned to pay it forward. When Michelle Cade greets her youngest son Gerald at the bus stop, she's already had a full day at school herself. Hundred. What? The single mother of five children ages 3 to 13 moved from Detroit to Charlotte with only $1,100. She was determined to graduate from Johnson C. Smith University. I was tired of struggling and I just felt like if I was to get an education, that was the only way that I could be able to provide for my kids. Cade says she wanted to attend a historically black college and at JCSU, she says professors take a personal interest in each student's success. She calls her children her biggest motivation. Motivation. Michelle, how can you tell your kids to go to college and you're not in college? How can you tell them you want them to further their education, but you're not doing it? And, and at that moment right there, I know it's like, no, I got to change. Now a junior at JCSU, 31-year-old Cade is working with a student advisor to revive a single parent support group on campus. I want to show them you're not the only one going through this. She envisions sharing resources and creating an extended family. Holidays come, we, we fellowship together. You know, we provide, you know, mentors. I want to provide mentors like with the younger freshmen. You know, freshmen have kids too. Freshmen and sophomores, I pair them up with a junior or senior. And by example, she hopes others will see that if you put your mind to it, you can achieve anything. I came down here with nothing. And look, look, look at me. You know, I might, I don't have everything that I want, but I have, I love me. I can finally honestly sit back and say, I love Michelle. Yeah. Erica Bryant, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Michelle works with the before and after school programs for CMS and has school loans, a grant, and a scholarship to cover her college costs. She's set to graduate in 2014 and aspires to one day work as a White House press secretary. Big aspirations there. Good luck to her. An inspiration.